Hey guys, thanks for joining us again. This is Next Big Thing with Courtney and Dara. And today, joining us, we have SF comedian, activist, and the co-creator of the podcast, Good Muslim, Bad Muslim, Zara Norbaksh. Thank you so much for joining us today. Yay. Thank you for having me. Yay! Yay. Your resume is um, incredibly long. Yeah, audience. and our show is incredibly not. So tell <laughs> us, give us the highlights of what you're doing, what you've been doing. I have a one person show called All Atheists Are Muslim. Amazing. Which is about me moving in with my whitey white, infidel, atheist, non believing boyfriend and telling my Iranian Muslim parents about it and the argument that ensues where I don't get disowned or stoned <laughs> oh in a ditch in my parents' backyard. We have a conversation. What? <laughs> Muslims have conversations. Oh what? You guys like talk? We talk. Like we're talking right now? We talk. We fight a little. Okay. There's a little fighting. Well, we're going to fight later. We yeah. fight. Oh, okay. people fight yeah. a little yeah. bit, yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. My co-host, Taz Ahmed, uh, she and I are good friends from the Love Inshallah, Secret Love Lives of American Muslim Women Anthology. Awesome. She wow. and I had the sexy stories. And uh, we were road tripping for the book tour and uh, totally hit it off and uh, started joking on Twitter about having a podcast, calling ourselves, you know, good Muslim or bad Muslim. <laughs> good, bad Muslim. <laughs> <laughs> And people started asking us, like, where is this podcast? And we thought, hmm. Yeah. 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 And now it's become easier to have and make a podcast. Because yeah. I'm based in San Francisco. She's based in LA. Mm -hmm. So how do we do this? The future is now. Is now. Yeah. So we've been doing the podcast Good Muslim, Bad Muslim. And it's been taken off. And we've been having an awesome time. So what do you guys talk about on the podcast? We talk about what it means to be Muslim in this anti-Islamic climate mm -hmm. and how to navigate the space of what is and isn't Muslim, the notion of Muslimness. You know, it's like there's this spectrum that exists where if you're the good kind of Muslim, then you're quote unquote assimilated, mm -hmm. less Muslim, in the sense that you're like less devout, less practicing, but if you're the bad kind of Muslim, you're very, very, very Muslim. Mm -hmm. Scary Muslim. Yeah. <laughs> Beardy Muslim. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. uh, you know, just kind of making fun of that, you know, and then and the notion that somebody could be very Muslim or not very Muslim, and who's in charge of that? Fox News. We know they are in charge of everything. Right, right. No. It used I to be Khomeini. I can't accept that. It used that. to be Khomeini. Now it's Fox News. <laughs> no, I can't accept that. That's, that's how that They're works. Like, that's actually. how that works. <laughs> Fox News is in charge of Fox News. Well, and that's why now we have a podcast, so we can be in charge of it. So you Thank are God. in charge that's of right. yourselves. That's, and Your and the rest of America and the world. The Muslim world, then the whole world. Well, that's what everybody's afraid of, because you guys are taking over the entire world, right? We're really trying. <laughs> you hate Christians, am I correct? No, hate implies that I don't want them to be under my domination. Oh. Oh. You would be willing to accept us into your I, regime. Ex exactly. It will be muslim -y. Right. I, I'm the pork eating, alcohol drinking, premarital sex having kind of muslim -y. Can we have pork too? No. Okay. Oh. Because uh, it's a, it's a Muslim world, is it? Yeah. <laughs> no, just kidding. We've already talked about this. I don't eat the, the pork. I can't call myself that anymore now. So my now husband, the, the infidel man. Congratulations. <laughs> but you did put the ring up like it was a swing. He put it's a dead. ring on it, ladies and gentlemen. My husband. <laughs> my husband. <laughs> he is atheist, but he doesn't eat pork and he doesn't drink. But you are. Muslim, yeah. But you. Am Drinking and baconing it up. Because <laughs> yeah. bacon is delicious. Yeah, well, as now, we've tried to convince Star, sorry, there's like a sorry, whole thing. But happening. I'm with you now because of the, the slaughterhouses, the Mother Jones article. Oh, yeah. I, I read can't, that. I can't. It's such a I can't slippery do it. What am I supposed though? to eat then? I don't know what to eat. So you can't eat anything. Oh. You know when you cut plants down, they scream in their planty way? Stop it. I'm they have not feelings joking. too. In their planty way? They do. What is that? You know, you they're can't, it's all like living things. Like there's noises that only dogs could hear. Like we can't <laughs> hear the plants screaming. Only... Well, okay, let me be clear where my ethics lie. Okay. 
This is what we're here to talk about. This is what we're here to talk about. <laughs> what makes me a good person? <laughs> yes. Anything that screams when I kill it, mm -hmm. it sounds positive to me. Okay. That, that, that's that's my oh. violence having impact. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the natural order of things, right? I see me having impact there. However, <laughs> however, when I find out that because of the way we slaughter pigs, like I'm gonna get cancer down the line, oh, or like you know, it's it's gonna make me sick, yeah, and and, it's, and it's going into our like you know, the way we treat them is like affecting my groundwater down right. the road and like our industry and economy. Then I'm like, well, other other beings matter when it comes to how I consume them, and it affects me later. Yeah, I understand. I am a capitalist. <laughs> How's that working out for you? You can donate. <laughs> yes! <laughs> at any time to the Zara cause. Uh, yeah. To the Zara Foundation. Making plants scream. <laughs> vegan. <laughs> I guess I just, I want to read the article. That was a article. vegan screaming though. <laughs> Not a plant, just to be clear. I want to read the article, but I think it will have the same effect that Super Size Me had on me when I mm -hmm. watched that. Which Plus. is? No effect. So really? <laughs> Nothing. Still like not even like a. No, mm -hmm. I was just at McDonald's two nights ago. Was, what? Top notch quality. No way. Top so notch good. quality. I you know. In my stomach. And then I like woke up with like a ketchup packet underneath <laughs> me. <laughs> Stains on the bed. I had no idea how they got there. This is a true story. I think that is the GMO. The roofie effect. Yeah, the you wake up the next <laughs> morning like, what Almost happened? Like I wake up like that very often. McDonald's in my bed. Yeah, yeah but I don't think that's McDonald's fault. <laughs> Who's in that? No. That oh, you know what? I did. I did that night. Yeah. But I think, I mean, I do that other nights and I don't end up at McDonald's. I limit myself to once a week. Once a week? We are completely off topic. What's up, Zara? <laughs> What's up next for you? I will be bringing All Atheists Are Muslim back to San Francisco at some soon-ish juncture this year yeah. uh, in the election watch 2016. Oh yeah, Muslims a good are one. a hot topic. It'll be fun. Yeah. And I have a column out called My Infidel Husband. What is a column out? These columns titles are incredible. Out. She's got a column out. Where I call Not him out. Call. <laughs> Infidel that he is, <laughs> the man that I married. So instead Aww. of talking to him at home, you just write your column. Oh. And he gets to read it, and then you guys communicate that way. He gives you notes, <laughs> notes comments, he questions, you notes. concerns. He's my biggest troll. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that what you look for? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes. I'm just out here looking for my biggest troll. <laughs> Do you think that you will stick around and have tea time with us today? Yes, I will. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So we'll look forward to that. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Thank you, and thank you guys for watching. We'll see you real soon. Thanks for watching, everyone. As always, if you want to keep up with the next big thing in art, culture, and more, head to nbttheshow.com. If there's someone you think is the next big thing, tweet us at nbttheshow. And if you want to donate to Next Big Thing, go to nbttheshow.com slash donate. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Mm -hmm. Don't subscribe. Right there. Just click right it. Right there. Get it. Get it. All right. Well, thank you so much for having us, Zara. I mean, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> All this eating and slaughtering. <laughs> All this sweat. Let's try it again. Okay.